right, you can see that uh, I've ran some masking tape and some newspaper in the middle. Um, what I'm going to do is paint the white uh, fog lines. This will be all covered with newspaper. And uh, the fog lines on the outside edges of the road. And I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. It's not hard. I ran the masking tape all the way down uh, to the end of the layout. Let me get the tripod up. And uh, what I do is I just take the what I call the factory edge of the paper, which is the edge that is uncut, overlap the newspaper a little bit, and then uh, put a white in the middle there, and make sure that it's back far enough to where I can get a good stick with the masking tape. I'm almost out of masking tape, by the way, so I'll probably have to get another roll before I do the the middle piece, uh, the yellow um, stripes in the middle of the wood. This one's not going as smooth because uh, when I push down on the layout, um, it's not uh, completely over the table. <laughs> so I have to be careful not to push down too hard or everything will go slingshotting off the other side. And then just uh, eyeball it and cut it down the, the uh, line here on the other side. Oh, that's pretty good. And then uh, mask the other side. Okay, so uh, the painting is done. It's been dry. It's been a, a few hours since I painted. And uh, we're going to see it together and see how bad it looks. So uh, hopefully it turned out okay. Hopefully it turned out good, but we'll see. Oh wow, yeah, that white line really shows up pretty good. And it's not as thin as I'd liked it to be, but uh, you know, it's it's good enough. I don't see any bleeding marks yet. Uh, yeah, white line looks pretty good, and it stands out white. It's not uh, dull like it looked before we took the tape off. So uh, I'll go ahead and cut away and uh, I'll mask for the center line and I'll show you how I do it or how I'm going to do it. Okay, both sides are masked down and uh, I've ran my fingers over it uh, several times trying to uh, make sure that the tape is down good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start painting it. Um, I know what you're thinking. I, you're thinking probably that this is it's a lot of work for just a little bit of of uh, a little bit of modeling. A lot of work. I have to mask the entire layout down. Um, it'll come out looking pretty darn good, I hope. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and paint it with flat black. I'm using uh, the cheap spray paint. This is uh, flat black uh, number M5735. Yeah, okay. My eyes are not that good. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and paint it. So, uh, we'll, we'll speed this up. You guys will uh, be able to see it real quick, and I will have to wait hours. So, uh, we'll be back. Okay, so I uh, went outside and cut the super thin strip of masking tape. I've already put it over the black line. Uh, I didn't get it on video cutting it, uh, but I'll show a couple of still images. Um, first, I, uh, I found a long straight wooden board, flat and smooth. I uh, have a big uh, uh, square for uh, drywall. It's a drywall square and uh, it's four foot long and uh, it's squared off pretty well. What I did was I put it on the board and then I ran the tape alongside of it to make sure the tape was straight and then I took my X-Acto knife and went along the straight edge and cut the strip of tape. And um, Anyway, I put the, the tape on there. Uh, the reason why I didn't film it, the, 
wind is terrible today, so uh, just getting the tape in the door was <laughs> was pretty hard. It wanted to roll up and fly all over the place. Uh, but now I'm going to uh, put down uh, two strips of tape on either side to make the uh, marks for the yellow lines. And then I'll spray paint the yellow lines. So we'll be back. Okay, so you can see that the tape is down. Uh, I have the little tiny strip covering the black in the middle. Uh, the Tamiya tape would have been better. I have some on order, but it's not here yet. And I want to get this done. Uh, also, my battery is almost dead, so I'm going to make this quick. Um, I wasn't able to get a cheap yellow paint, but I got this uh, yellow satin bonds to many different things. Uh, Harvest Peach. Uh, the name and number is there. And it's uh, Rust-Oleum two times. So I'm going to hold it very far away and uh, do a couple of light coats and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so here we are. Uh, it's a couple hours later. I had to charge the camera and do a few things, but uh, the paint is dry. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this off together and see if it's messed up. I'm kind of expecting it to run because it, it is the uh, two times coverage paint that I did not want to use. Unfortunately, it was the only one I could find. And, uh, well, Let's not wait any longer. Let's find out if it ruined the, the diorama. Go ahead and get this last piece up here. Sticks pretty strong to the color foam. Uh, also, I noticed that the color foam is... Um, yeah, it ran a little. I noticed the color foam is not sticking to the pink foam very well. I'm not sure why that is. Take this off all in one piece. Yeah, it ran a little bit. So we got the lines there. The colors came out pretty good. You see how it looked dull before I pulled the tape. Um, that's actually bubbled up. Um, when I cut scribes and cracks into the foam, I'll lift it up a little, put some glue underneath it, and press it down, put some weight on it. Uh, that's why it looks wavy. If I look to the side, you can see it's wavy. And then there's some run marks down in here that don't look good. But this, the end being the end of the layout, a diorama is not going to be photographed very much. So I'm not too worried about that end. For the most part, it looks pretty darn good. Not perfect, like I said, but you know, perfect enough to warrant not having to redo it. Um, also, the white fog line on the edge looks pretty good. So, uh, what I'll need to do now is uh, right in here, starting from here, up to here, and then over there, will be a white L-shaped mark. This side will be thicker, this side will be thin like the lines. And then there'll be another one right here coming up and then over here I'll have to I'll have to uh, mask these and then paint them and I'm going to use cheap white spray paint I have some uh, the same I did for the fog lines and then after that it's on to uh, taking the paper off this area and painting all the lines on the, this part of the road which uh, I'm going to focus a lot on this area. So uh, without further ado, we'll cut away and be back. Okay, so I put the L section in, uh, marked on both sides of the intersection. Uh, this is where the uh, stop 
line would be. Um, I think this one's a little fat on this one side. Uh, this side should be fatter than this. This should be a little more narrow. But um, I think it'll be okay. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and make it thinner. Because I don't like the way it looks right now. Let's see if I can get it in there. And you can just see what I'm going to do real quick. Stick a piece of tape. Eyeball it. Make it... Uh, Make it a little thinner. It's not going to line up with the yellow lines now, but I think that will look a lot better. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and spray that real quick. I'll move the camera back so you can still see me doing it. I shook up the can really good. Still not liking the way the paint's going to come out. It looks a little funny, but you, know, you can hear it doing the ch -ch -ch when it hisses. I really don't like that sound. Uh, but this is a full can of paint, so... If I spray too close and I feel like it's going to run, blow on it and help it dry quicker. way it doesn't seep underneath the paint. If I had a little fan or something here I'd probably use that or maybe a heat gun. And then remember what I said about uh, the paint looking a little thin. It still kind of looks a little dark like it's not bright white like this tape is. It looks a little darker, like it's grayish white. Uh, don't worry about that. Um, it's it's going to come out just fine. And uh, I'll show you right now. Start moving some of these papers off. Let's go ahead and take it off right now. Trying to put a lot of paint on here, or a lot of tape, and I mean, uh, to try and get this. To not uh, make a overspray mess. So we'll see how it came out. Doesn't look like it ran very much. Pull this side off. I didn't put any tape on the lines, the yellow lines. Because uh, I didn't want to take any chances of uh, the tape pulling the paint off. As you can see right here, it didn't run. So it looks pretty good. See, it's not uh, even with the line, the yellow lines, because I made it thinner. But I really wanted to make that part a little thinner. Because in real life, it's thinner than the actual piece up here on the top. Oh, look at that. It came out pretty nice. Be real careful not to stick that tape down too hard to the yellow line right there. I had to put some tape right there. But as you can see, it held up pretty good. So for the most part, I'm happy so far, uh, at least with this area out here. Um, the harder part is going to be this area over here, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see how that comes out. I got one more thing to do with this outside road or highway. Uh, if it is going to be a four lane, then I need to add white stripes <sighs> all the way up and down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for the most part, here's that part there. It looks pretty good. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. 
I get up close and follow the yellow line and then look here I got a little bit of cleaning up to do but uh, yeah I'm happy with it happy with how it's coming out um, so I'll go ahead and clear this area off and we'll get on to start talking about that um, I can always come back and paint the white dotted lines later uh, but yeah, I, I want to get started on that. I'm, I'm getting impatient. So uh, we'll go ahead and go over there and try that. <laughs> 